Since we developed the technology to travel through hyperspace, a race to other habitable planets in space has broken out among the big corporations. In search of limitless growth, they leave Earth exploited and its environment devastated. The voluntary pioneers and colonists are lured to this adventurous journey by the hope of a better life and a new beginning in an untouched world. Our team at Imagine Earth LTD is convinced that only a development strategy that ensures the quality of life for our colonists and protects the planetary ecosystem can have long-lasting success. Apply now as a colony manager at Imagine Earth LTD. Imagine Earth Limited. Welcome aboard. We are approaching Tuto. This little planet already offers good conditions for a stately colony. This small, untouched paradise is one of the rare few that has the optimal living conditions and enough resources to build up a colony. Your job is to build cities and their supply networks. The global management interface is designed to make every operation as simple as possible so you can focus on important global matters more easily. Use the mouse wheel or the buttons Q or E to zoom in or out of the globe. Hold the right mouse button and drag the mouse to rotate the globe. If I want to point something out to you, an icon will appear on the planet. Rotate the planet until you find it and activate the message with the left mouse button. Click on a free field in the target area to open the build ring. Select the city center and choose the landing site. Make sure to get as much building land as possible within the radius. After landing, our capsule is expanded into the city center of your new colony. Can you see the borders of your colony? Your buildings and city districts can only be built within this area. Now we need food for our citizens. Choose one of the fertile fields to build a farm there. Clicking the right mouse button closes every menu. It closes this. Of course, the farm needs energy. Quickly build a power plant to provide energy to your buildings. The coal power plant has to be built on a coal deposit to operate efficiently. When the power plant is finished, we have enough energy for food production to run properly. Without a supply of goods, the quality of life in your cities will remain low. Build a quarry or a wood factory. Look, the first colonists arrive by orbital lift. They will leave your colony the same way if they are not satisfied with the quality of life. I recommend expanding the city with additional city districts. More living space for your colonists. Did I mention they pay taxes?
Good. Now set up another district next to the city center. It is time to expand the city center. This will expand the borders of your colony and open up additional land for building. The expansion has been completed. The radius of your colony is increased now. The city center also gained an urban density and offers housing to twice as many colonists. We now have access to research. May I introduce? Professor Tustin. He heads our research department and acts as your personal technology consultant. Pleased to meet you. In the research panel, you can research upgrades for your buildings. Click on the research button in the upper left corner to get there. I know what you're thinking. Coal cannot be the answer to the energy supply problems of the future. But patent trolls have everything under their control, and small companies like us have to save a lot before they can afford licensing sustainable energy technologies. Although everything has been long researched and made available, what irony. You can press F1 to see a lot of hot keys and control hints that will improve your management workflow. For example, you can keep Shift pressed and reuse the last tool or build the same construct again. We have to increase our population to 450,000 to meet our company's growth target. The quality of life in your districts is often reduced by local pollution and certain adjacent buildings. I just finished the construction plans for park districts. They improve the quality of life and this increases population growth and thereby your tax income. Great news! There are new buildings available. The company has also donated us a tech license. These are permits that will allow you to unlock and construct new buildings. Think carefully on how to spend them. Thanks to industrial mining, you can open up new construction land by clearing rocks. Some rocks contain valuable minerals such as gold. Look closely to find these deposits. 
Your next objective is to mine 200 gold for the company. In order to mine gold, you must build a warehouse. Hi everyone, this is The Boss. Lima reported the progress you're making in the Tuto Colony. I ordered a supply capsule with useful equipment from Planetary Express. In order to take over the cargo of the supply capsule, claim the field on which it stands. You can claim fields that are directly next to your border and then expand your build radius field by field until you reach the capsule. The equipment items have been added to your inventory. You can find them by choosing the suitcase icon. You can level up city districts as well. They too will offer more housing for people. We have come closer to our population goal and have therefore received another landing permit. We are to found a new city on the other continent on Tuto to gather some of the rare resources there. This plant is capable of producing nitro skirlite in large amounts. This is used to craft fertilizer and explosives. To harvest this plant, you also need a warehouse in the same colony area. Now let's harvest nitro skirlite filled pumpkins. A Gaian Temple Ruin! This species had incredibly advanced terraforming technology, with which they could terraform entire planets and their ecosystems. Even though this temple lies in ruins, we can collect and study artifacts here.
Our warehouse is now filled up with enough gold. It's time to trade. Build a spaceport. Good work. Once the... My dear employees, I like to visit in person from time to time to convince myself of the progress of our projects. However, right now I urgently require a shipment of titanium. We need it to terraform the nearby planet Joma to become habitable. We need explosives to be able to blow up mountain massifs and start mining titanium. According to our scans, the mountains of this planet should be full of it. I also brought you a prototype of a new useful construct. The remediation center automatically cleans the soil pollution in the surrounding area. With an upgrade, it can also reduce air pollution. The construction kits I procure allow you to build a construct once, which you have not yet licensed. Select my ship to see what I have in the cargo hold. This is Oaks the Merchant speaking from the Guild Space Traders. My friend is just so happy to pass by your sector. I'll buy anything you've managed to stuff into your warehouse. Energy, goods, food, or rare minerals. You name it. Look at Good work. The sale of rare resources such as gold is crucial to financing the rapid development of your colony. stored the necessary units of nitroscurlite in the warehouse. The workshop can be used to craft items. Build one 